everyone and welcome to another episode of That's Nat. Today on That's Nat I am going to show you 100 things, yes 100 things that I have decluttered from my house. Hopefully a clean house equals a clean mind and I've split the video into the following categories. Category 1 is fashion and clothing items. Category 2 is electrical and random items. Category 3 is bathroom and toiletry items. And category 4 is anything from the kitchen or pantry area that I have decluttered. The items that you're about to see that I have decluttered from my home have either been given on to family and friends, sold on Trade Me, given to charity or just thrown in the bin because they are just past their use by date. Literally some of the things are actually past their use by date and it's actually kind of disgusting. This video has been made in collaboration with Jen from A Thousand Words and I will link her channel up on the screen now and also in the description box below. As well as Jen organising and participating within this video, others have also decided to participate in this collaboration video as well so please make sure you go check out the other videos of other people who have also decluttered 100 items from their home as well the playlist will be on the screen now or in the description box below so you can check out everyone else's videos as well let's head into the video and see what I decluttered from my wardrobe first a hat that is just too big some low crotch baggy as dance pants they're very very comfy except they <laughs> Um, are very very see-through as well clutch I can't even open it but um, it's just way way too big these adidas three-quarter uh, track pants um, I've had these for well over 12 13 years a Lorna Jane active wear top this bright orange can you see it this bright orange skirt amazing uh, pattern on it these crazy cool Lorna Jane pants a black strapless uh, dress that I will actually wore to my high school graduation but um, it's just not really my style anymore and I'm looking at getting something else that's new to fit the LBD, the little black dress um, category. But cool fact, it has pocket. This lovely blue cotton on uh, dress, it sits way too low under the armpit and it has a lot of side boob action going on which is not how I like to wear my clothes. This Kathmandu jacket that I've had for years and years I am selling this on. These Nike exercise pants which don't get me wrong I think they are really really cool and I love the pattern a lot but the thing is they're actually made of cotton and I prefer uh, the dry fit quick drying fabric for my exercise pants so these are being sold on. These red suede uh, boots that I am selling on these motorcycle gloves hoodie that was from the YouTube channel Blogilates, train insane or main the, remain the same, Sabo skirt palm tree print top I love the print, it's just it's a bit weird on the sides because this is actually all slit on the sides, it's a bit hard to show on camera but um, yeah it looks a bit strange on, this uh, Reebok kind of lightweight weight jacket, um, it's, it's been passed on, I don't wear it, I used to wear it a lot when I did a bit of cycling, hence this mark here, the amount of times I fell off my bike wearing this jacket was a lot. I'm passing on these uh, velcro heeled boot sneaker kind of things. It's quite a lot of words to describe what they are but yeah I'm just passing them on. They're not my style anymore. Running shoes that have seen way better days. Brown boots that I'm just not too sure about anymore. Bright purple Zumba pants that are a little bit too tiny and make me look like a walking Ribena Berry. A Zumba crop top. A Zumba spaghetti strap top. A bright blue aqua Zumba and instructor fleece because I'm not instructing at the moment. This blue, red and white stripy dress. Not really my style. Someone will love it though. This scarf that's like got all these purples and blues and it that's really really pretty but it is so flippin' huge. It's actually like a blanket and yes it is meant to be a scarf but this is just beyond the oversized scarf trend I believe but and saying all that, I'm actually selling this, on, selling this on Trade Me at this moment in time. So if you are interested in the scarf that is absolutely massive, the link will be in the description box below to where I'm selling this, and also the measurements for the scarf as well. A pair of triathlon racing togs. Yes, you run and swim in these uh, togs. They have seen better days. They are faded. They're gross in the crotch area. You didn't need to know that. And this is all peeling off. 
this navy blue coat that I bought from an op shop so it was only like a couple of dollars or so. Next we're going to head into some electrical items and also a few random things as well. This curling one's being uh, sold on or passed on because well I have curly hair so I have no need or use for this. This Canon PowerShot A3200 camera I am selling on and it's just because I have this new camera now and even though this did me very well I'm sure it can go to a much better home and someone can love it just as much as I did. A cookie time Christmas cookies tub. My birthday flowers have died so they're going to be thrown out now but <laughs> yeah that's that's mold on there that's that's gross okay gotta go gotta go that water is pretty discolored as well. Ooh. Alright, we're heading into the kitchen and the pantry items now and I warn you this is a little bit gross so you may want to cover your eyes cover your ears. Yeah the kitchen one is a little bit meh. You have been warned. Green tea that is smashed and has been opened and it's past its sell-by date. Tea that smells gross and it's past its sell-by date. Garlic in the back of the fridge. This was best for April 2011. This is a little um, dessert treat that was actually from, well, Easter. Yep, better believe it. Chocolate chips that are 2016. An empty lemon juice bottle in the fridge. I don't even know why we bought this. It is actually not that nice at all, hence why it's still practically full. But this Peri Peri Chicken Nando Medium Hot Sauce, and this was out of date, I think, this time last year. So that's, that's just great going. I'm gonna admit it right now, but I see this every day in my fridge and I never get rid of it. Wanna know how long it's been in there for? 2012. Since 2012. It is 2017. Satay has got to go bye bye. If you could not tell by the scrunched up packaging, this is Parmesan cheese. Or might I say it was Parmesan cheese. I went to go open it to see if there's anything left. There's nothing even in it. This is just a scrunched up piece of rubbish that is in my fridge. See that on the edge of the um, lemon curd bottle? Yeah, that's because it's all finished. All scraped up and all done. All done and dusted. Back in the day, I was going to make something with mascarpone apparently. Yeah, back in the day in 2014 people, 2014. This foil lid shall remain on, but it was a mushroom soup. Not anymore. I honestly don't even know what this is. Like, I don't even know what I've put into this pot. And it's gone pushed to the back of the fridge. Can you describe that to me? I'm thinking ice cream, but even I have no idea. An empty packet of cocoa from, oh yeah, 2011. An empty punnet of prunes, nothing in there real stock that has a bit of a piercing in the side of it but this is from 2012. I don't even know why we bought this we just make our own mash from actual potatoes. Ricotta that is not ricotta anymore I'm not even going to spare you this you just don't need to know this. It's going to stand this far back but can you see that condensation in the pot? Yeah that's because that was feta. Oh dear goodbye. Another thing that I see in my pantry every single day and don't actually throw them away these crackers are from 2012 as well. Yeah there's a theme 2012 was the year to buy things and not eat it apparently. It was not a food item but it was put in the fridge because that's where you meant to store it but then I never got around to actually using it and it's well and truly passed its sell by date because this was from 2014 I think was it from 2014 I can't even see the label on that anyway um yeah I went to the top part of the fridge so high in the fridge in fact I couldn't reach it so that's why I forgot about it an empty Heinz tomato ketchup from 2013 I think these potatoes have seen better days ooh they're so rubbery and this one takes the cake it's not a cake it's a pie but I'll tell you when it's from oh yeah 2009 yes Yep, this one wins the award for the oldest thing in my pantry. Probably something older, but this wins at the moment in time. Really? Really? Whoops, wasn't me. Let's have a look at some bathroom and toiletry items that I have decluttered. Some moisturizer, a dry shampoo, empty disinfectant spray can, an empty banana boat spray sun cream, Another dry shampoo, mini one this time. Batiste travel size, ooh yeah. L'Oreal Total Repair Conditioner, bye bye. Some shaving foam that is actually not that good, but it's been in the bathroom for ages and it needs to go. I've realized I've had this for about 10 years. And you see that little icon there that says recommended um, time you should use the product in and it's 12 months. Yeah, yeah, 10 years. Why have I had that for so long? I don't know. 
Garnier micellar cleansing water. I have used it all up. This fair trade foot lotion is actually really really good, but it's 2015. It was made in 2014, 2015. Bye bye. This Rimmel BB cream. Yes, I cut the tops off the top of my products to make sure I use every last bit, but I have used every last bit. I know I've got two of these, but um, they both have been <laughs> In my makeup station for way too long. I've got to go. These are really good uh, foundations if you want like the matte look. But yeah, bye bye. This Rimmel Scandal Eyes Rocking Mascara. I'm just going to show you the brush. Check out that brush. That is insane. But um, yeah, it's very, very, very gross. I'm sure I can get one more use out of this uh, primer um, by just chopping the top off. But it's practically finished. Can you tell what my favourite brand of makeup is? I like using hair mousse for uh, my curly hair just to give it some uh, a bit more volume, a bit more style and oomph. Um, but don't even ask me what happened to the top of this. Uh, yeah, I had to pour the liquid out instead of creating a foam. Don't even ask me. It's been used up. It needs to go. It's taking up space. Used up a Mad for Argan oil hair treatment from Kmart. So good. A body spray that is actually empty and it's just sitting in the cupboard. A Natio Spa coconut cream that has got a bit of a weird gloss on the top of it now. And yeah, see, that looks a bit gross, doesn't it? An empty insect repellent. Empty Natio facial cleanser. Empty foam burst imperial leather body wash. Empty toner. Nearly finished, is that cleanser? Yeah, nearly finished, pretty much finished cleanser. Shaving soap cream that wasn't the best and is past its use-by date. Sun cream that is finished in a random Colgate Optic White toothpaste box. Where the toothpaste is, nobody knows. And lastly, I've got some completely random miscellaneous items that I have decluttered from my home. Here they are. These last few things are kind of like the miscellaneous items. So we've got this random pirate top that I wore for a costume party, some magazines, bottle opener, batteries that I need to throw away. A pencil case that is just battered and bruised, 2015 or 2015 diary, pens that don't work anymore, flybys card, an opal card from using on the Sydney trains, um, a makeup bag that is I just don't use, a lip balm that's been used up, a random goggle box, um, goggles that are battered and bruised, togs that have seen better days, shoes that I've worn to death, scissors and glue. So there we have it. There is 100 things that I have recently decluttered from my house. Hopefully this has inspired you to do the same and potentially declutter 100 things from your home. Initially when I first started this challenge I thought, hmm, really? 100 things from my home? Yeah, once you get going and once you get started it's actually a lot easier than you might first think to declutter 100 things from your house. And I was quite surprised that I actually managed to find 100 things to declutter from my house because I only recently, as in the past month or so, done a declutter project on my own terms and yeah, there were still a lot of things that needed to just go, needed to disappear. Please make sure you go check out the playlist of all the other videos that participated in this declutter collaboration and apart from that I will see you next time in another That's Net episode. Bye everyone!